Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Elite. Welcome back to another video and we have the start of the freeze event. If you guys are excited for this, feel free to smack the like button. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to show you some trading tips on how to do League SBCs efficiently while also making coins. So stick around the whole video. We're going to be talking about that. We're going to go through then the SBCs and kind of discuss what I want to do with my club. But first and foremost, I'm going to show you the trading tips that I've kind of been doing to make coins with two specific leagues and how they can be really good for each other. So I've been doing the MLS and the Sudamericana. I've already gone through the MLS twice and I'm about to go through my second time on the Sudamericana and my third time on the MLS. So what I've learned is both these leagues have this one has a prime gold players pack at the end and this one has a jumbo premium gold players pack really good reward and it's not too hard to do the SBCs. A lot of the buy nows are going to be higher than they need to be. So if you're outright trying to buy these cards off buy now, you're going to lose a lot of coins. We're also going to use that as our trading method then. So we're going to start with um, the Sudamericana. So as always, you want to be making sure you're doing the bronze pack method to get a majority of these cards. But the in-between, we're going to go to defenders. We're going to go to 200 coins by now. And you'll see that every card is selling um, defender wise for at least 200 coins so what we're going to do is kind of like we do with silvers is we're going to bid 150 with a minimum buy now price of 500 and anything that's semi close to 60 rated we're going to put a bid on now you can do whatever you want you can bid on everyone if your goal is to get through these sbcs if you know some cards go more than others by comparing price you can bid a little more than i do but the main goal is we're trying to get a bunch of these defenders in our club so we can complete the league sbcs for cheap and at the same time, selling on our duplicates to make 400, sometimes 500, maybe if it's high rated, even a thousand coins. It really depends what flipping solutions these cards are in and what is hot at the moment. Now, the same thing is true for silvers in the MLS. If we look at MLS players, we can see that the buy now for silvers is around 250 to 300 coins for the most part. As we see, it's starting to go up a little bit because these are out in packs. So people are wanting to do the league SBCs. Um, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do max price, um, 150. But this time we're going to do the minimum buy now, like 400, just so we can save a little bit more coins. And try to place 150 bids. Right now, there's going to be a lot of competition. If you want to do 200 coins, that's fine with me. Just make sure you're not really doing it on goalkeepers. If you can place bids on um, everyone that's not goalkeepers, that would be good. Um, also doing bronze back method, you're going to get a lot of the bronzes you need, and that should be a majority of your guys' teams for the most part. Um, if we go in and look at the packs real quick, I don't know if I can show you the packs of the teams we did, but it's going to kind of give you an idea of what the reward is from doing this, especially if you're saving packs like me. Um, so we're going to go to the MLS first. We'll go team by team. So we get a jumbo silver player pack. Um, small rare mixed players pack, small prime mixed players pack, small rare, jumbo, prime, small, small, small rare silvers player, small prime, jumbo. So there's, if you're looking at this, a relatively good mix of tradable cards and untradable cards. Now, the tradable cards seem to be mainly silvers and the untradable cards seem to be mainly golds, which isn't the worst thing in the world. If we are hoping to build more league SBCs from this, we're hoping to get potentially some good cards to pack. We have the Syria that has a league SBC. We have the league one. We have the Connabels. We have the MLS. You can get all these silver cards from these packs. And a lot of them are jumbos and even player packs. So you will get a lot of the coins back from these. You'll make a profit on most teams as well. If you're bidding 150 and doing the bronze pack method. So stay true with that. Same thing goes with the Sudamericana. Since you can use basically the same players throughout all these teams, there's not a specific team you just need to use. You just need to make sure there's two requirements. One, that it's a Sudamericana card and that you meet the um, either the rating limit or the chem limit and or both. So if you're going through this, typically the way I start is I try to fill out the final team. So I'll put in a team with primarily high rated players. And then I'll buy a couple golds, golds off the market for less than 2K. So I'll probably finish off this team for 5,000 coins. And that will give us, what's the pack for this? A jumbo premium gold pack, untradeable. So we'll save that then for team of the year. If we did want to open it, we could then potentially put it into other SVCs. And kind of as we work our way down, you'll see that's a 70 rating now. 
69, 67, 66. And as you get lower, the packs become tradable once they get to silver. So same thing will happen. You do the lower end bronze players from these. Like, look at this. 55 rated team, 58 rated team, kind of like it was the first time in. You can do a lot of these just with what you have in your club and save the higher end players for the up. Um, now, what is the end pack and what is the final pack? If we look at the final, you get a prime election players pack out of this, which is not bad whatsoever. And then the final pack, like we discussed earlier, you get yourself a prime gold players pack. So constantly grinding these, whether you're saving packs or not for team of the year, is going to be a good um, source of getting coins. Now, I had a couple different goals I wanted to do on the channel, and I'm going to go back on one of them now. I'm realizing how hard this is. So I want to make 500 packs for team of the year. Every pack has to have a minimum of one rare gold player. So for the most part, I've been following through with that. We're already at 86 packs. We have about, I would say, 10 of these as um, silver upgrades. Um, but besides that, they're all kind of bigger packs. I will still be doing that. I'll hopefully get to 500 for that. Transfer profit wise, we're going to be pushing 15 mil. I will do that. But I also had a goal with you guys where I wanted to get 10 million liquid coins by making 100k a day. I still think I can do that, but the only issue I'm running with is in order for the coin total to keep going up when I'm doing these league SBCs, I constantly have to sell on everything. And the issue with that is when I'm putting in a couple hundred car, car um, I can't speak, a couple hundred cards to complete these league SBCs, I'm getting infinitely more cards. So if we're putting in 11 for a team, I'm getting 12 plus in some packs plus all the cards that I'm storing in my club for future SBCs and selling on. We just have so much in our club, we're stacking it back up where I don't know how many coins I have. So that wouldn't be smart to make a promise with you guys. But as you look here, we're selling silver center backs on for 300 coins still. We're selling random said players for whatever they're going for. We have um, MLS players selling for minimum 300. We have um, a bunch of different bronzes selling as well. We are doing a bunch of different trading tips that while put together can not only make you coins but make you packs as well so we're going to go over on stream how to do these better um, in the sense of a more efficient grind for league specific sbcs but for now i kind of wanted to end the video looking at potential content for trading tips and what we want to do with the channel um so i'm going to get this marquinhos he is i believe an 86 rated team with one psg player sweet and then you need a 75 team chemistry so that's not bad um, we'll be grinding that slowly with rare player picks. Are they here for another day? Okay, so we get two days for rare player picks. So we can do this this weekend. We'll we'll hopefully try to pack um, the special cards in this as well. We will open low end packs, so any like premium gold gold packs, um, any mixed players pack that doesn't have at least three to seven rares. So the ones that have one, we'll use that all as fodder. We'll keep doing the league SBCs, but something to look forward to, if we go to the leagues real quick, they added a Serie A, and the rewards in this is unbelievable. Jumbo Rare Players Pack. Obviously, it's 20 teams, but if we look through this, a lot of them aren't that hard to do, and we can get some decently good packs in here as well. So I'm going to be grinding through this slowly over time by using the other league SBCs to build into this one, um, by doing the bronze pack method, silver upgrades, that sort of thing, and then any other random cards we get from um, pack openings. So hopefully that was helpful in the sense of what I'm kind of doing heading forward. Let me know what icon you're getting for the icon swaps. I'm super excited for this. I was thinking I was going to go for a center back, but I saw the packs, and I don't think I can pass these up. So let me read off how crazy this is. For two icon swaps, you get two ultimate packs. That's ballin'. I'm going to use that for team of the year. For this one, for three icon swaps, you get five pack of 85 plus. So you get to open a pack that has five cards and every single player is 85 or higher. And then this one's just goaded. I want to do this one on stream for you guys. 83 plus rare player pick. So 25. Um, no way, it's not a player pick. Rare player pack. So you get 25 cards that are guaranteed to be 83 or higher. This is going to guarantee you an icon at some point or a team of the year card and or fodder to then craft whatever you want to make. Um, that's insane. I'm hoping for at least half of them to be higher than 83. Imagine someone opening this pack and they don't even get a walkout. How sad that would be, but that seems like it's going to be a favorite for potentially getting team of the years. So I'm going to grind for that. 
Um, but yeah, let me know how these trading methods go. Primarily, again, doing the same things we have been doing, mainly focusing on selling League SVC cards and doing bronze back method. Let me know if you're making coins. Again, we'll do it on stream tonight if you need a little bit more guidance. But that's going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching. It's been your boy Mumbly. I'll catch you next time. Peace.